Assalamu alaikum. Hi everyone. So first of all, apologies for not being um, as active as I'd hoped I would have been. Um, I've actually returned back to work and honestly, I have found it really difficult to kind of juggle between work, home life and doing this as well as looking after a uh, baby. Um, so, you know, hats off to all these those ladies and men out there who are doing it, honestly. Um, it's been really like sort of it's a test in itself honestly um but alhamdulillah like you know i'm finding my rhythm now and it is getting there and hopefully um it gets easier in the future and yeah so um for everyone out there eid mubarak and you know i hope you had a lovely um and prosperous sort of eid and ramadan and May all your advice be answered. Yeah. Um, what I'm doing today is I actually um, I'm doing a Sheen, sh Shine, Shein, however you pronounce it, um, haul. Um, what I did is just at the beginning of Ramadan, I um, placed a um, order with them. I literally cannot even remember half the stuff that I ordered because it took a little while for it to come. And it came with two different packages because i was so busy i didn't even, like bother opening it and then now i've opened it and i'm thinking oh yeah i remember adding that to the basket yeah, so, so and this is the first time i'm trying any of these on i have taken them all out of the packet so i can quickly just show you guys and then i'll put them on so what i did is for this um haul because i had sort of mixed reviews you know some people love it some others don't um and i just want to find out for myself and what i did is for each of the items that i did buy i read sort of the reviews that any real customers left looked at their pictures as well to see whether or not the fitting is what i would want it to be it look like on me i know providing obviously everyone's fitting is a little bit different but um i thought that would be the best way for me to kind of gauge whether or not an item is for me so just so you know as well i am sort of between a size 10 and 12 i've got quite wide hips so certain dresses don't like i could never get away with like a sort of a tube dress or anything like that because i feel like it just extenuates parts of my figure that are not as flattering but again you know everyone's different so hopefully this can help you guys decide um on sizing and styles from this so the first item is probably something that you guys have seen um on a lot of their adverts it's a black dress i believe this comes in like three different colors but it's the black sort of long sleeve maxi dress it is a really floaty material the color i went for was like the yellowy ish one i think there was like a red and something else i can't remember but i'll link the exact ones that i bought below I bought a large in this, so every single item here that I've got are all large, like as in the outfits. There's only two items that I bought in a medium, which were two blazers, because I I, I thought because of the style of blazers I bought, they just need to be a little bit more fitted and not loose. So um, yeah, so this one is a sort of elasticated waist maxi dress, and it's got long sleeve arms with elastic on the ends. And it is full length from what I can see. It comes with a waist belt. So there, um, with the same print. Um, but I'll show you what it looks like now. It is maxi dress. This is really, really light. And it's really nice. The arms are a tad, like, big looking um, because of the puffiness, but I mean, some people might be alright with that. I think I would have liked it as a loose, but I didn't realise that it was elasticated on the edges. But anyway, not the end of the world. Um, but yeah, so I put the belt on. It's got little hoops on this one for the belt. And it is full length. And it's really, like, airy. polka dot uh, maxi dress which is so cute but look 
so this is it. It's got three quarter arms and it's got a zip at the back and it is sort of like a floaty earline shape. Hope you can see. It is, I think you can see the colour better. It looks a bit bright, but it's a bit more. It's because I've got them in like the lighting's not the best. It is more like a dusky pinky. Not as probably dark as dusky pink. But it's kind of a mix between a baby pink and a dusky pink. But it's really cute. But yeah, so again, this is in a large. So I'll show you what it looks like. Now this dress is a lovely, lovely dress. It's so soft. Like, it's kind of like neither material. Um, a bit, probably a bit lighter. But it's just so nice, this dress. I absolutely love it. It's so cute. I have no dresses like this. I'm gonna have to find occasions when I can wear this. I really wish I had this for Sarah's birthday. Cause I would've worn it. Cause it's just so cute. <laughs> dress which is a stripy dress which I love stripy dresses at the minute so this one is a like a more of a midi length dress it is a bit more smart it is has got like cap sleeves um so you'll obviously have to put something underneath and it's got buttons sort of is it five buttons yep yeah. down the front until the waist so the waist is pleated together and it comes with a belt, which is this one, it's just like a one colour, and um, yeah, so that's it there. So I'll show you what that looks like. I bought is really cool um, so excited actually when I've opened this I thought yes I remember why I, what I ordered so this is belt sort of like with suspenders I forgot the exact name now but I'll put it on the comment box below but it's got like straps thin ones and look how cute the skirt is it's like a midi length floaty skirt and it's got a zip on the side and it actually feels really nice as well um, I can see that it's got like an underskirt, but it's only halfway, which to be honest, because of midi skirt, I would wear leggings anyway, but I, I, I'm not a huge fan of when the slip comes halfway. I feel like it, it kind of defines more, but anyway, I'll see what it looks like. Um, but I hope this is all right. I'm only 5'2", so I'm hoping that these are not too long. It looks really quite long, but I'll see. But, yeah, so here we go. Now this is the skirt with the braces. Um, you can see the braces are really loose, like literally hanging off me. But however, the skirt, it's really nice and floaty. And it does fit at the right place in my waist. It's not horrendously fitted, it's got a zip and it has gone on. What I probably will do with these straps, which I did read to be honest um, on the reviews, is that everyone was just like either putting another buttonhole there or just um, sewing it. So I will probably just sew it to be honest, another inch. I don't know whose torso is so long, but yeah, so. Um, but this is it, and it's really, really nice and floaty. Now, this dress is a sort of more thicker linen dress so i remember why i bought this i actually bought sarah two dresses in this style and i thought if this comes by eid which it did by the way but i was just too lazy to open it um that i would wear this dress and she would have her one on um if we were to go out or anything like that but unfortunately i didn't even get around to opening this so but this is a button dress and it's like a it is a sort of like a loose is it a winged 
arm, is that what they call it? But it's, I really like this style arm because I've got a couple of jumpsuits like that. Um, but it, it's like really quite flattering. But it's got buttons all the way down. Um, it is going to be like above, just above my ankle, I believe. I'm hoping that this shape should be nice because look, it's got like a, around the waist, it's got like quite a thick belt. But yeah, so this is that dress. So this should be nice and summery, but I'll show you what it looks like now. Now this next dress is very similar to the other stripy dress. I didn't realise I actually bought both of them, but they're both very different, so um, I don't mind at all. So this is the stripy dress. It is like sort of more mustards um, with a bit of black in it, but this is sort of like a crossover dress and it's got three quarter arms with little cuffs and it's a maxi a-line floaty dress probably very similar um shape to the uh, black dress but it comes with a belt as well again stripy it should be full length um and because it's got so, many, so much pattern um i don't think it should be that see-through so yeah i'll show you what it looks like this one is the other maxi dress it is longer than the others so i've got sort of about four inch heels on and it's still touching the floor um you could probably glam this up and wear it but um it has got a nice shape like it's got a lot more like width at the bottom so it's really nice and floaty in that sense so you could really dress it up it is sort of a wrap dress which i've only just noticed but it's a closed wrap dress. Now this next dress is Again, one that you probably would have seen um, when they are advertising on their advertising campaigns. Um, and I was really excited for this one to come. But I wasn't too sure what the quality is going to be like. But I'm really impressed with the material, to be honest. So this is, you know, the it is the short, long cut-out dress. So I think they've got a, um, a version of this at like full length or midi length, I believe. But I just wanted this because I, I thought it just looked really cute and you could put it on with leggings or something. And it's got like fitted, cut out arms, and like the cut out design. And then look, it's got like the short and long at the front and the back. I thought the inside of this is gonna look like really cheap or something like that, but actually I quite like it. Um, it has got a zip. So hoping it will be fitted and yeah, and then it comes with a belt to put around the waist. Um, yeah, so let's see what this one looks like. are blazers which are I've got a red one and I've got a black one so they are really quite different so the first one is this like maroon one um it is long sleeve it is like a it's kind of I don't even know what this material is but it's you get a lot of um sort of them jackets the waterfall jackets in this material anyway it's midi length and it comes with about the same color and it doesn't have any buttons or anything but you just obviously got to just put the weight of the belt on. So I'll show you what this can, this looks like in a second. But I've also got this blazer, which is a black one. It's a bit thicker material. It's a long line blazer, which I thought would look really cute, you know, if you wear trousers. It's got three quarter sleeves with four double cuffs. It's got no buttons. It's just a loose fit one. I don't know if I might accessorize it with a belt or something. I've got one other item. There's a reason for putting all together is I bought this belt from them. And now this belt, it's really cute look. It's it's like a little clasp. 
So it just comes off like that. I love the colours of this. And the belt, you just tighten it by just pulling these bits together or loosening it alternatively. And it's a nice waist belt. Um, and I thought hopefully it doesn't pull apart when you're wearing it. I don't really know how you would lock it, but we'll see how it's like. But I would probably wear this with playing a buyer or, you know, like dresses that you just need to kind of glam up a little bit. And you could pro I'd probably like, you know, put it on even if you go to work and just put it like through on the waist around like you know like a shirt or something um but i'm really into waist belts at the minute so i thought i'd invest in a new one i'm going to show you these blazers now with everything from Sheen and so I'm still wearing the pink polka dot dress there's little things that some dresses don't have like you know the little sort of straps for the belts and things like that in terms of the long dresses the materials all seem fine to me and because they are summer dresses they don't have to be thick the two blazers that I bought I'm okay about the fitting not blown away I'd like the black one I wish it had a bit more shape but Apart from that, you know, it, it's, it, I think it's been a good mixture of outfits. A couple of the dresses just didn't look as nice on me as I did on the website, but, you know, everyone's sh shapes are different. Um, and I guess, you know, the, the reality of life is that not everything looks the same on every single person. So I th I'll still be able to live with it and I'll still be able to kind of cover up in certain areas, I guess, where... I'm not 100% on the way it looks but yes so I hope this has helped you guys and I hope that it kind of builds confidence if that if, if you need that for buying from Sheen but I would honestly the thing that I used is the comments from other customers pictures look at the way it really looks there's like a little bar that says true to size so then you can gauge what, what size you need please do subscribe and thank you for watching and do leave some comments down below and if you've got any questions give me a shout i'll leave a full list of everything that i bought um in the comment box so please do check out my other videos and inshallah i'll be uh, posting more frequently as much as i can assalamu alaikum bye